Well, no, first of all, thanks for coming. That? That's all. Nah, no. Yeah, thanks for coming. Um, you've all been doing fantastic fundraising, which, uh, well, it's going to be an amazing total, but we'll cover that off in the end. Um, just uh, Has everyone sort of got their mobile phone <coughs> on them? Right, wicked. Do you wanna... Yeah, um, there's going to be a few of us marshals anyway, but we're all going to have two ways. Um, if you're really struggling to get hold of anyone, we've got a mobile number if you want to type into your phones. <laughs> I borrowed it from my mate called Gay Bob. Um, so just you can delete it afterwards, or not. Um, 07970. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, just a couple of things to go over. Um, it's going to be a horn to start at 10.30. Um, I've got to say this, but it's common sense. Um, just take your litter away with you afterwards, including the peg number as well, if you can. Um, so bream, carp, and cats, over £5 pounds count. Um, right, well, we'll get straight into it, so give yeah, you guys we sort of time. have. Yeah, just one from each pair out, and uh, if you could write down your uh, team name with your peg number, but just one at a time, please. Right, look away. Just one, make sure you get one. Oh, big ace ten. What? Big ace. What? what? There you go. That's great. Well, that's yours. He's already a winner. He's already a winner. Look at that. <laughs> You've got a. If, you, if you're going to draw a shit. Good peg as well. Is it? Yeah. Surely that's a dub peg. Yeah, that's really a good peg. Oh, is that a dub peg? I'm not. Let's go. Let's keep going. I don't know. I can't go in. Here we go. Big haste, peg 12. So, this is the lake we've got so far. We've got, got a big chunk of that island there. A bit of uh, oil rushes running down there. And we've got the reeds that side and a bit of open water. So, it's not a bad peg, though. Let's see if we can actually make something of it. Well, let's hope I can catch a fish. I'm quite confident Tim will be able to produce something. Alright then, let's get ready. So Ed didn't make it into this year? Right then, we've got less than half an hour ago to go to Lee all in. Um, Tim's there, half set up. Uh, I think he's got one rod ready to go, and he's just about putting the finishing touches on the second one. I've managed to get both my rods ready to go. Lazy, solid bag rigs. They've been clipped up so they're ready to go. I think, looking out at the edge of the bank there, we've seen fish moving off the island on two spots, so I'm going to be heading for them as soon as the all-in, or the horn is called. And that's about it for a moment. Uh, I'm going to give you a, I'll give you a shout once the match starts, and um, we'll hopefully things progress pretty well. Then here we go. It's what three hours in now since um, we all in. It's uh, it's not as good a draw as I thought. Uh, one of the guys that was, who was fishing the peg next to us actually fished this peg last year doing the match, and they blanked on this peg. And the fact that the wind is pummeling straight down to the other end of the lake. Literally, we are one end of the lake, and the wind's been blowing to the other side for about a week. Um, and there's four fish been out, and they're all down that side. Uh, but things could change in the night, because the wind will probably drop. It usually drops in the night, as the temperatures start to change. So we've got the window of opportunity then, hopefully, when it gets dark. Um, both 
Tim's had two sets of liners and I've had one little tap literally um, I was tight lining it and it just sort of dropped back a little bit and popped back up and then stopped but uh, there is activity out there, there is fish in front of us they just, I don't know, the, the feeding ones seem to be on the other side of the lake uh, yeah that's all I can say for now I've had a bit of food, just I sort of saw my head out because I started, I don't know I started feeling really miserable but then I realised I hadn't eaten anything at all and now I feel great well I don't, I would like to catch a fish yeah, I know it's only three hours but it feels like such a long time I think it's because it's like match conditions, the pressure's on and the, it gets to you that nothing's happening but uh, well, we'll see, we'll see Still got plenty of time. We're three hours in, we've got 27 hours left, I think, so, so a lot could change. All right, then, I'll, I'll leave you with that update. All right. All right, here we go. Tim with the first catch of the day, and this beauty does not count. Oh, here we go. What do you give it? Four ounces? If you're lucky. <laughs> but a little silver bream sitting on the bait, not even moving the... Um, I don't know how long you've been on that, it's not staying here. I was getting knocks like that earlier on, I thought it might be a uh, funny little bream sitting on it. Right then, so it's what, five hours since an update? We've been fishing the match for eight hours now. And um, we're more or less in the same position we were when we started. Um, the wind and everything is still powering to the other side of the lake and there's fish showing quite a lot down to the areas we can't reach. But we'll put a bait out. I know Tim's put a fair bit of bait out, so we're going to try and hopefully capitalise on that tonight and um, get a few runs, hopefully. All right. Yeah, so this is another little update of third one saying that there's nothing happening. Perfect. It's, uh, well, it's coming up to 8 o'clock now, and um, not a productive night at all, I think. Well, I've had, I was woke up about an hour ago with one sort of tapping run, which was nothing, a little liner. Didn't actually result in anything. Um, Tim had the same last night. Um, lost a back lead. <sighs> I'm going to do a couple of changes today, I think. I decided. Everybody's on PVA bags, so I've taken the mix that I've done for the PVA bags and I'm going to put a bit of water in it, let it stodge out a bit and then go on the method feeder, because I did do a fair bit of mix, so hopefully, hopefully a quick change of things will, will make a difference. Um, the wind is set, it's actually still at the moment, but the wind is set to pick up today and go back down to the other lake, pushing everything away from us again. Uh, yeah, there's not really much more I can add. It was the night was sort of like eventless. I went to bed quite early, and it was freezing. <sighs> but yeah, it's go all out now. Try to get a fish on the bank so we don't sort of like rank last. All right then, I'll uh, I'll give you a little update later. Ta -da. All right, this is my first run of the whole match actually. If I remember rightly, it's a coconut ice. And I'm waiting for the a bream head to pop up. I don't think it will be. Uh, 
nice mirror. Somebody to come over and do a fish for us. Dan, we've got one. Dan. Yeah, he didn't expect that, did he? Peg, peg 12. 12 on big eggs. 13 pound 14. Hello. So. <coughs> it's a fish to take us off the mark. <coughs> yeah. So is it 13 14, is it? Yeah, 13 14. That's nice. Us. I'm happy with that. So, here we go. <coughs> My first fish out of Big Haze ever. <laughs> and my first carp of the match. So I'm flipping around to see got a better scale pattern on one side. Well. Right, so, which camera am I going to look at? Sure. My first fish of the match, or my first fish out of Big Haze. It's £13.14 ounce. Back of the landing net. Cracking fish. Hanging my. So, yeah, one on coconut ice. Get a quick photo and we'll get him back, is it? Let me stop him, stick his nose into the bottom of the net. Here we go. Well done, Mike. I just leave the baits as they were, or do we still turn over to a method feeder? Wow. So, that last second total change of mind. I don't know. Right, we're off the mark anyway. That's good. Right, so as you see, I'm off the mark now, so I think the pressure's off a bit now. Uh, so we've got a lovely mirror at, was it, £13.14 ounces? So, so yeah, the pressure's off. It's just get, see if we can build the numbers up now, get a few more runs, get another few carp in the bank. I don't mind if I get a few big bream, as long as they're over, I think it's the £4 mark. But uh, yeah, we can, we can only get better now, really. I think, I think it was the, I don't know, a bit of, Bit of a dejected state that you're sitting on the bottom run you're blanking and uh, in the match at least we're ranking in the top 12 on this lake so that's not too bad all right then um that's it for now i can't really see it the sun's burning me straight in the eyes but i'll uh i'll speak to you later right then so we're coming up to um well it's about three hours left and the wind has picked up like we thought it would, and it's powering down the other side of the lake. Um, we've, Chris and Jay have been around, and they've given us a sort of like heads up on what the catches are. And I think just over the other side of the lake, down a bit into the wind, they're leading round about sixty pound mark. We're still on the thirteen pound mark. Um, I've, I've managed to put a, a bait onto where there was fish topping, right up against the island. So that's. Give it that a little time and it might produce something. 
Um, I've gone out with a method feeder now because that seemed to. Well, it's, I've had a few knocks on that, but it's just not producing any carp. So it's the imperative now that something works in the next three hours for us to sort of like push our way up. I know it would be, would be, would put a, a sort of like a, a good end to it if we managed to sort of push our way up the ranks. But at, at, at the same time, I'm not too worried because I think because we're not blanking and um, we've managed to put a fish on the bank, it's it's not a total failure. Right, I'll uh, I'll give you a little uh, round up at the end if it, unless there's some action in between. All right then. Ta -da. Well, that's the all out. We ended on one fish. But we're not last. Alright. Kind <laughs> of in between them. Yeah. Right, first of all, um, we just wanted to thank everyone for getting a ticket and coming. Um, it's been awesome weather this weekend. It couldn't have been better on that front. I know. Um, some of the fishing's been difficult, and some of it, um, some of you guys haven't put a foot wrong, really. So, um, all good. Um, but obviously, the main reason we put on this event every year um, is to get everybody involved in raising money for Cancer Research UK. Um, and over the last couple of years, we've, we've raised um, a fair old sum, really. Um, but this year, we've kind of done um, a rough estimate of what we've got online, um, offline donations. Um, and what we think we've got that's yet to come in, and it looks like it's going to be pushing on about twelve thousand pounds. So first yeah, of all, yeah. we'll give <laughs> the reason the reason that's happened is because you guys have all put in the effort. You know, whatever whatever size sum you've raised, big or small, it's all contributed to the total. So um, really, everybody should be proud of themselves. So thanks for that. In fact, um, we've, we've got um, Dada Jones here today from Cancer Research UK. He's uh, spent the last hour or so having a look round at what we do. Um, something a bit different, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I still wish I could eat them. Not Wesley, bro. Wrong crowd for that. <laughs> yeah. I, know, I know it's yeah. wrong. I know it was wrong, but there you go. <laughs> Yeah, um, obviously, on back of the land, we, we, we respect fish care. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, we, we did, you know, right or wrongly, we, we do offer up um, some prizes for the teams that raise the most money. Um, this year, some of the guys like, blew the roof off, really, and um, straight into it, really, I suppose. Um, si and Matt Lucas, um, between them, brothers. Raised almost two thousand um, pounds, which is just. Yeah. You should be really proud of yourselves, and um, thanks to Luke Curtis um, and his connections at Lodge View Lakes. Um, these guys are going to be spending a week in France uh, fishing. If you, if you if you want to, if you want to. <laughs> enjoy it. By by way of like uh, appreciation, because it's unbelievable what you've done. Truly. Um, and also, um, we've, we've got someone here, um, Ben Spicer, who on his own has raised over £1,200. Um, he's going to France with him. And they um, once again, we want to thank Topper Manor Fisheries um, for allowing us to have this here. Um, I wouldn't let us here if it was my <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's go through the big A's results then. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, one team blank. They, uh, they did have a bit of a bad, bad swim. That was uh, Bradley and Ben. A round of applause. Thanks for you. coming, guys. <laughs> so, you're get your, 
Eleventh <laughs> <laughs> place with ten pound fifteen was uh, Harry and George. Just hearing that Harry and George can't be here. <laughs> John but uh, yeah, well, they just wanted to say thanks um, for everyone here. Yeah. Good. Tenth place yeah. with eleven pound two ounces was uh, Nigel and James. <laughs> Ninth place was the absolute blankers with eleven pound fifteen ounces. Once again. <laughs> They, uh, they can't be here, unfortunately. Right, eighth place, £13.4 ounces, Cart Course and Swansea. <laughs> 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 Seventh place, £31.4 ounces, the High Rollers. Sixth place, £43.11 ounces was uh, Jason Matt. <laughs> uh, fifth place, £46.12 ounces was uh, Pete and Jace. Fourth place with fifty-two pounds dead was GD's kids. A third place, fifty-four pound fourteen ounces was Corndall Carpers. Go get him. Yeah, that's right, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. All right, sorry, Jay. Yeah, but it wouldn't have come in the trophies, but keep four, four, fifth. That's all that I do. Right. Second place, fifty-six pound eleven ounces was Dunstan Avril. Was it Ross? was the wet mates, £69.4 ounces. Right, Little Hayes, joint 11th with, uh, with Stephen Harry, <laughs> hook, line and stinkers. Tenth place. Do you know who we are? <laughs> Nine pound one ounces for uh, Richard. Ninth place was there. Was the girls? Twenty-seven pound fifteen ounces. Place with forty six pounds one ounces was Cart DM. Forty seven pounds four ounces was Big Fish in the Ben. Sixth place, Little Gurning Punishers, 
52 pounds, six ounces. £59.13 ounces was spatch and catch. Is that right? Is that right? £76.14 ounces, team focus. Thank you. Third place was with £89.10 ounces, Chris and Jake. Queen. Right, the battle for first place on Little A's was a fish for fish sort of ding dong encounter, really. One, then they would catch one, etc. etc. Um, second place with 166 pounds two ounces was Dan and Matt. Unless it's like a record semi. First place. Was a uh, Russ and Joe with 180 pounds 11 ounces. Well done, fellas. That was awesome. Cheers. The biggest fish on Little Hayes was a uh, Spatch, 16 pound 8 ounces. Oh. The overall winners with the 180 pounds was a uh, Russell and Joe trip to uh, Lack Road. Once again, just thanks everyone for coming. We've had a, a very tiring blast. <laughs> but yeah, fantastic fishing. Cheers. Yeah, cheers everyone.